Hello students. Now this is the last topics from this chapter that is a triangle. And in this video we will learn how the two triangles are similar. And the practice set 3.5. Now let us start the similar triangles. Now let's learn that is a similar triangles. First of all see this figure. These are triangles, big triangles, small triangles, small circle and the big circle, hexagon, small and big, square, small and big. The pairs of figures shown in each part have the same shape, but their sizes are different. It means that they are not congruent. Such like looking figures are called similar figures. Now let's done. That is what is meant by the similarity of the triangles. In triangle ABC and the triangle PQR, if angle A is equals to P, angle B is equals to Q, angle C is equals to R, and AB upon PQ is equals to BC upon QR is equals to AC upon PR, then the triangle ABC and the triangle PQR are called similar triangles. And they are denoted like this that is, the triangle ABC is a similar to triangle PQR. Now, the, don't forget this. If the corresponding angles of two triangles are equal, then the two triangles are said to be similar. And if the two, if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are in proportion and the corresponding angles are congruent. Some information is shown in the triangle ABC and the triangle PQR in figure. Observe it. Hence, find the length of the side AC and the side PQ in triangle ABC and the triangle PQR. That is a sum of the angles, all angles of the triangles is 180. It's a given. That is measure of angle P is equals to measure of angle A. That is B is equals to Q and measure of angle C is equals to measure of angle. Triangle ABC and the triangle PQR are equiangular triangles. That is a measure of these two uh, angles of the triangles are same. That is measure of angle A is congruent to measure of angle P. Measure of angle B is congruent to measure of angle Q and C and R. Okay. And their corresponding sides are in proportion. That is AB upon PQ is equals to BC upon QR is equals to AC upon PR. Substitute the value of AB upon that is a 3 upon PQ, BC that is a 4 and QR is 6, AC and the PR is 7.5. Now to make the cross multiplication. If you take the first and second ratio, that is a 4 into PQ is equal to 3 into 6, that is 18. Therefore, PQ is equal to 18 upon 4, that is a 4.5. And again, the similarly, second and third ratio. That is 7.5 into 4 is equals to 6 into AC. Therefore, AC is equals to 7.5 into 4 upon 6. And that is equals to 30 upon 6. And that is equals to 5. 7.5 into 4. That is equals to 30 upon 6. That is 5. Now, we will see the practice set. It is very simple and easy. If the triangle XYZ is a similar to triangle element, write the corresponding angles of the two triangles and also write the ratio of the corresponding sides as the triangles xyz has elements similar therefore the angle x is a congruent to angle l angle y is congruent to m angle z is a congruent to angle n and their corresponding sides are in proportion that is xy upon ln and the yz upon mn and the xz upon ln corresponding sides of their similar triangles now the question number two in triangle XYZ, XY is equals to 4 cm, YZ is equals to 6 cm, XZ is equals to 5 cm. If the triangle XYZ is a similar to triangle PQR, PQ is equals to 8 cm, then find the lengths of the remaining sides of triangle PQR. The remaining sides of triangle PQR, now we will find out it. XY is equals to 4, YZ is 6 cm, XZ is equals to 5 cm, it is given. Now these two triangles are similar, that is a triangle XYZ is similar to triangle PQR, it is a given. Therefore XY upon PQ is equals to YZ upon QR is equals to ZX upon PR. 
corresponding sides of similar triangles. That is a 4 upon 8 is equals to 6 upon Q1 is equals to 5 upon PR. And therefore, first equate first and second ratio that is a 4 upon 8 is equals to 6 upon Q1. Therefore, Q1 into 4 is equals to 8 into 6. Therefore, Q1 is equals to 8 into 6 upon 4 that is a 48 upon 4 and that is equals to Q1 is equals to 12 centimeter. Next also uh, 4 upon 8 is equals to 5 upon PR then again equate it 4 into PR is equals to 8 into 5 therefore PR is equals to 8 into 5 upon 4 and that is PR is equals to 10 centimeter and in this way the lengths are given is equals to 12 centimeter PR is equals to 10 centimeter. Draw a sketch of a pair of similar triangles and label them and show their corresponding angles by the same sign and show the length of corresponding sides by the numbers in proportion. Now these are the two triangles that is the triangle PQR and the triangle LMN. These two triangles are similar that is the PQ upon LM that is the ratio is to QR upon MN the ratio is to PR upon LN the ratio is to and the corresponding angles are congruent and you can draw this figure and in this way we have completed the chapter number 3. Now we will see in the next video. Till then, goodbye.